This is going to be a quick guide on how to get multiplayer Morrowind set up on your PC. First and foremost, you have to have Morrowind downloaded. Make sure you have it installed and downloaded. Don't matter where you get it from. Once you have Morrowind installed, you're going to go to this website, TES 3 MP, which is the Elder Scrolls 3 multiplayer. Scroll all the way down, go to quick start guide. Once you get on quick start guide, you're going to get sent to a GitHub page. The GitHub page has a step one. Literally just click on this step. 8.1 click on that then you want to download a small file it's only 61 megabytes it's going to be ts3 mp windows 64 bit uh release and so click on that so once you download it you want to unzip it so you want to create a new folder next step is that you want to double click this file that you downloaded you want to extract everything into that folder you created the one file you want to locate locate is open nw launcher that's the one file you want to find double click that uh you're gonna get uh windows protect your pc you want to click on more info um, and then you want to click on run anyway you're gonna have another uh window pop up is basically the install wizard you want to click next and then you want to find your existing installation of morrowind browse your files for me i have morrowind installed viva steam so you want to click on steam library Steam apps, go to common, look for Morrowind. You want to go into data files. You want to find the Morrowind.esm file. Click on that and press OK. Press next. And then you will hit next again. I always leave those check. Hit next. Finish. You're 90% there. Uh, next thing you want to do is you want to mess around with your Windows settings. Make sure you set a uh, do your display because when you do start it, it's going to be on a small screen. Then you want to go into advanced settings. And I always tweak this just to make myself make my games look a little bit better. Uh, you want to go to advanced settings, go to visual, scroll all the way down the terrain and you want to go viewing distance. I usually go from five to like seven. It's all preference. And then you want to click on distant lands. Make sure you have distant lands available. That way you're not getting that fogginess. Um, you can actually see the distance and you want to click play. Uh, then you're going to have a bunch of browser, uh, a bunch of servers pop up. Automatically, it's all set. You don't have to do anything else. I usually like to organize my servers by host name, and our server is here, Jojo Droga exclamation point. You want to double click that, hit connect, and then you want to type in the password to the server. I'll give you the password when you watch the stream. Press OK. That's it. You have Morrowind installed up and running. Uh, first things first is gonna ask you for your name. This is gonna be for your created character and a login password. Since I already created one, the password is that. I picked in a, the password that I picked in the beginning is the one that I used to log into my character. And there you go. <laughs> Don't mind that, but yeah, there you go. Morrowind multiplayer. You can play with up to 64 people. Um, it all depends on what, how many people the server, uh, admin sets up, but you can also play with mods. We don't have mods installed yet, but we're working on it. Appreciate that guys. Hope you guys liked the video. Thank you.